Okay guys, I just got home and man, it was windy out there. So um, I'm wearing my Faith Over Fear hat and this is the latest intel. After I finished my live stream, uh, Secret Agent Man over there from Iraq just sent me this. He said it was the first time he could share it. Um, U.S. soldier was sentenced to 14 years for aiding ISIS attack on American troops. Um, American court sentenced a soldier, his name is Cole Bridges, to 14 years in prison after he admitted to assisting the terrorist organization ISIS in setting an ambush targeting a mil American military personnel in the Middle Eastern country. So, and it was from a statement, according to the U.S. Department of Justice, Cole Gonzalez, 24, of Stowe, Ohio, was sentenced to 180, 168 months in prison, followed by 10 years of supervised release for attempting to provide material support to foreign terrorists. So, I don't know, and it just, that just came down, evidently, that is as of now, like October 12th. So, pray for his family, it's got to be devastating, but again, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Also, what I did was that they are counterterrorism forces, which is part of the coalition forces, which my intel comes from, with Secret Agent Man, or SAM. Their terrorism forces arrested three terrorists terrorist and destroyed multiple hideouts. I went through that article this morning. Also, the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed to, on Friday that the Prime Minister is has a real will to enhance non-oil revenues while indicating that work is being done to reduce taxpayers' wages in the event of a shift to electronic payment because they're implementing all these digital systems in Iraq. The other article was Minister of Industry and Minerals Khalad Batal al Najim announced on Saturday 135 partnership opportunities with the private sector. They are growing the private sector in Iraq. So that's good news. Also, it, my other summary from the other, the other side, which there may be, who knows what's, what's in this. But this summary says, um, Samson is reporting what I just said. There was an article, Parliamentary Finance, the Prime Minister has a real will to boost non-oil revenue. He's doing that. Uh, Militia Man comes out with an article quote, there's been a completion of the first steps of the baking reform process. In, in my view, Militia Man, the next phase should introduce new currency denominations. If they're going to have three zeros removed, as Alok said, you're going to need new denominations. They never have had a three zeros exchange rate to be supporting the global financial system. They haven't done that in 21 years, so why now? They never will, as far as he's concerned. They're going to be the savior of anything. They're never going to be the savior of anything at 1310. So he believes it's, it's being done. Bruce. Um, and I don't need to hear your criticisms of these intel providers. We all have a piece of it. And if you don't look at the big picture, you can get lost, right? You got to see the forest for the trees. Um, so Bruce says, we heard, let's see, the 16th, which would be Wednesday, is the day that Iraq is paying all their contractors and paying any back pay that they need to pay. My dog is sniffing my jeans because he can smell my horses they've never met, but he can smell them. So he's right here. Thank you, Tom. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Um... And it's also the day, Wednesday the 16th, the day of celebration in Iraq for this RV and their new rates on the dinar. I don't know about that. What do you think? So it looks like our start date would be Wednesday the 16th, but it could be actually that we would start on Tuesday. I know we're supposed to get notified on Tuesday whether we start exchanges or not. We will have to see, but the whole thing is lining up beautifully. I'm excited about the timing. Everybody's excited about the timing. Uh, Frank26 uh, articles makes it very clear what they're doing, adding value by lifting the three zeros. It's right there. It's from the prime minister. It's from Alak, the governor of the CBI, word for word. Anybody that tells you it's a scam, educate them because this is not Bigfoot. This is not a UFO. This is not Loch Ness. This is a reality happening right before our eyes. Thank you, Frank. I love his sense of humor. He's funny. Uh, Mark Z, I round out all the big intel guys. Um, gold in Iraq, a promising future for mining. This article is from 2015, but it tells us how much gold they have in the ground. I had the privilege of talking to somebody in the industry dealing with equipment. They had started moving a lot of gold mining equipment to Iraq. Iraq's gold mining industry is starting to explode. They, they know they have a tremendous amount of gold and rare earth minerals there. As a matter of fact, experts over there say they may actually eclipse their oil revenues. Also, didn't I say this morning, if you watch my live stream, I gave you an, 
estimate of the time frame of when I started going through the intel. I think I read somewhere that they're investing in geological surveys to find more of stuff underneath the ground. So they really are invested in the non-oil revenue sector, which is what they need to, to play with the big boys. Who are the big boys? The IMF, the World Bank, all of them are, lot, the United Nations, all of them are lauding um, Iraq and it, it's safe and secure. And so everybody's behind Iraq. And now that it's safe and secure, we're just waiting for the rate to happen because they're doing this global financial system in Iraq as a test market for the whole world systems. So hang on to your hats. And one of the things the auditors are doing that I need to remind you, the auditors are doing with the Central Bank of Iraq, they, ha they hired Oliver and Wyman to make sure their systems could cut out the US dollar, but use the other international currencies like the Chinese yuan and the, the British pound, but ex exclude the US dollar. So those systems are already being looked at, they're already in place, so we just have to wait for the timing of them to drop in a new rate. I will also talk about um, why I believe there is no lop of the currency like a lot of people fear. It's a lop of the, ex the nominal rate in Iraq, which is the 0 .0076 that you can see there. They're gonna lift the three zeros from the exchange rate in Iraq, which is nominal. It's not an exchange rate, it's a, it's a nominal rate because they're not able to be foreignly exchanged right now. So guys, it's all happening right before our very eyes, so keep your faith in this. Um, so now, uh, Militia Man said, at the end of the day, Iraq is showing us they're going international. We're going to have to watch it happen. We're going to have to just wait till it happens too. And then Mark Z pointed out another article about an economic researcher. The Iraqi budget en enters the danger phase. The article is telling us we're about to see an exponential change. Uh, Frank 26 said, I believe it will RV before the time they gave. The revaluation actually started in 2012. Revaluation is to revalue the currency. This is not to revalue the currency. They're going to reinstate it, which was 322 when it was brought down because of inflation. Do you think the 322 would be fair over 20 years later? No, he doesn't think so. Therefore, the exchange rate is not going to be a thousand. It's it's right now at 1320 to 1310. He's saying it's going to be much higher when they lift the three zeros from the nominal rate. Okay, which is what I just went over. Um, there's going to be a little over a dollar for the citizens, and that's fair. So, guys, we have to wait and see. Nobody knows what the rate is. If they're telling you they do, they're lying. If they're telling you they know the timing, they're lying. All I know that the Holy Spirit told me to tell you it was done so I could prepare you. How do I prepare you? I give you three steps to a safe exchange. Safe exchange meaning you're in the driver's seat. Um, one, two, three. So you can take advantage of the rate when it hits Forex. It hasn't hit Forex yet. This is not the time yet, but I will do, everybody else has you um, being emailed, uh, directions. My, my channel, if you subscribe and tap the bell, I will do a live stream that says the time is now, and that's the one you need to watch because that'll give you instructions of what to do. But that'll tell you that the time is now. I'm watching this very closely. I do these, these summaries every afternoon, regardless of you know, whether my husband's home or not, uh, the rest of the stuff, my lives I do around my husband's busy schedule. So please subscribe and tap the bell and show me some love down below because I'm doing this on a day that, you know, I'm just spending time with him. So the Wolverine said via Judy Byington, the process has definitely started. It is expected to happen within the next few days and definitely within this month. I'm just saying it's, it's just so good guys. I mean, you can't get any better news and you can't get any better articles. And honestly, you know, whatever you think about that latest article he sent about Amer American military being sentenced to 14 years, you know, I don't know what their evidence is, but he's been sentenced. So pray for that family who's from Ohio. But guys, there's a lot of people that, that, are, that are bananas these days. Their, their, their thoughts of our country and where it should be headed are very confused. So guys, make sure you register and make sure you vote. Every vote is going to count in this one. So it's really important that you do that. Um, so where are we? Oh, it said excavation in Babel uncovers 470 artifacts from ancient civilizations. So they just uncovered that in Baghdad. These are all new articles that just came in hot. I'm adding them to the end because they really aren't specifically associated with the RV. So, and then he talked about New robot makes soldiers obsolete. It's an older video. He sent me the video. It's on YouTube. 
uh, because there's a lot of progress with robots, potentially, you know, ass assisting police and military. And he sent me an article about it. I'll have to watch it and let you know. But there's a lot going on, guys. I heard Elon Musk talking about it. You know, and there's all sorts of new things with this technology and AI and stuff. So, guys, we just have to pray that the time is, you know, the time is soon for this revaluation. What do you think? Comment down below. Please subscribe, tap the bell, and share this with other people so they can stay up to breast on the Iraqi dinar revaluation. I love you all. May you have a good evening. What are you having for dinner? Comment down below. We're going to have swordfish on the grill with these... Uh, tater tots because neither one of us feel like doing anything tonight as far as cooking so we're just going to grill and um you know so what do you do when you're tired it's the weekend thank god you made it it's the weekend and guys this should be a this should be a good week because monday's a holiday monday's a bank holiday it's columbus or indigenous people's day any native americans out there i'm cherokee and i love my native american history it's nice to be acknowledged and guys we're going through some changes, but guys, we're going to get through it together. So please subscribe, join my family. I love you all. I continue to love you no matter what your, no matter what your beliefs are. I love you. Bye.